How's it going everyone? Jay here with Hellamar.com. Today we'll be showing you the steps to install a set of white face gauge overlays in your 1994 to 2004 Mustangs. Ever since the popular SVT Cobra was released, many enthusiasts have been wanting to the same style interior and look these came equipped with. Our kit we have offered here at LMR will be an easy peel and stick design, unlike some of the others on the market where you'd have to glue these in place. These will not only give you better interior styling, but they will provide you with better all visibility. We do want to note that we will be installing this today on a 9904 GT here in the shop. Some of these steps may vary slightly, but the same general install will be the same for the 1994 to 1998 vehicles. First, you will need to disconnect your negative battery terminal. Next, you will need to remove your factory cluster from the car. Check out the link in the description below to show you how this is done. Now you can remove your instrument lens from the cluster. This will be held in place by eight torque screws around the perimeter. Take this time to thoroughly clean your instrument lens and all of the surfaces the decals will adhere to. Open your overlay kit and then match up the corresponding overlay to your setup. These will include two speedometers and two tachometer overlays, one volt, one oil, and one temp and one fuel overlay. The V6 and the GT will have different options on the tack and the speedo. Make sure that you select the correct one for each of these and you can simply discard the other one you will not be using. On a clean work surface, flip the cluster over. Remove all of the bulb sockets on the back side by turning these with a pair of needle nose pliers. We remove these bulbs so that you can shine a flashlight through the opening to help align the new overlay to the factory cluster. We started with the larger tack and the speedo gauges first. Peel off the decal and then spray it with a soapy water solution. Thread the needle through the center hole on the new decal. Make sure that the hole on the overlay touches the pin on the factory needle before slipping the remaining portion of the overlay in place. There will be a detailed pic of this included in the instruction sheet. Once you have this fully over the factory gauge needle, you will need to start to align this to the factory cluster. The soapy solution will allow you to slide this overlay for proper alignment. Again, please make sure to take your time here and do not rush. You can use a small flashlight on the back side of the lights to help you illuminate this for the alignment procedure. Once you have the overlay set, use a small squeegee to remove any remaining moisture. Repeat these steps for your tack, oil, fuel, volt, and temp gauges. Now you can reinstall all of your lights back into the cluster. Now you can take this time to reinstall the lens. Reconnect all electrical connections and reinstall your factory bezel back on the car. Reconnect the battery and then check over your work. All right, everyone, this one is a great way not only to give your interior more style, but overall visibility will be better for you. This one should take you about an hour to complete in your driveway. Basic hand tools will include a torque set, a small pick for your headlight switch, needle nose pliers, razor blade, squeegee, and a spray bottle for your decal solution. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and turn on notifications so that you can be up to date for everything 79 to present Mustang and Lightning related content. As always, keep it here with the real Mustang enthusiasts at LMR.com.